group, which is all of these, all of these except for this one. Here we go. So this is all Peronius, and then this one here is the extensor digitorum longus, and then this next one here is tibialis anterior. Crossing posterior awesome. Yeah, don't even worry about it because even on the even on the uh, cat, the posterior was we always could only find the tendon. Remember, on the cat. Yeah. Should I do one more time for the correction? Okay, so starting here, we have gastrocnemius, and then this is soleus, and then this is flexor digitorum longus, right here, and then this is the tibia, right there, and then this is the tibialis anterior, and she was asking me about posterior. Usually you can find a tendon for posterior down here, but I don't see one. Usually you can find it right down here, um, or sometimes it's back behind here. Um, this may actually be, see this little muscle right here? Mm -hmm. This may be put tibialis posterior right here. You'd have to follow it up and see if it fuses, mm -hmm. but this may be posterior right here behind the tibia. Okay. Still don't worry about it? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it, but that's what it is, I think. I'm pretty sure. I can't tell because I have to go through this whole rabbit to, to make sure, but this, I think this is it right here. And then coming around here, um, tibialis anterior comes around. And then this very first tendon here, this is um, extensor di digitorum longus. And then the next group, right underneath that, these are the peroneus group, first peroneus, tertius, brevis, and longus. This muscle here is plantaris, and then this is the gastrocnemius. So on the test, would you just... What I discovered. There are two muscles here. This is not one muscle. So let's go, let's go over here. And once again, here's the tibia. Do you see the tibia? Right here. Tibia is right here. This is the medial aspect, medial toward the middle there that we're looking at. Tibial and tibia. Yeah, this is the, this is the, um, no, this is the flexor. This is the flexor, digitorum longus, right here. Now look at the top. This thing here is the, this is the tibialis anterior. Do you see how it separates? Mm -hmm. This is a tibialis anterior. Now look at the next one. The next one goes all the way down to all of the toes. So it's got to be extensor digitorum, digitorum longus. Do you see it? It's right underneath. And then the, that next big blob over here on the side are still the peroneus muscles. These are all peroneus. Over here on the side. These are all peroneus. So starting from this side again, medial, gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius, next to gastrocnemius on the medial side is soleus. There is a muscle all the way back here, you can see it right there. That would be tibialis posterior, right here, tibialis posterior, it's right behind the tibia, right behind it. The ne next muscle, which is a long muscle, going all the way down, is the flexor digitorum longus. Flexor on the inside. Then, right next to that is the tibia, the bone. Then, turning it toward the front, there are two muscles here. It's not one muscle. The uppermost muscle, you can see because it kind of points all the way down toward the toe. Do you see it? Yes. That would be tibialis anterior. Underneath that is another muscle. Extensor. It goes all the way down to all of the toes. You can see all of the toes here. See all the tendons going down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be extensor digitorum longus. And then on the lateral side, that whole grouping of muscles that you have right here, that's the peroneus group. Peroneus group. And then the next muscle that you see, this muscle here, is plantaris. This is plantaris, and then this muscle here is gastrocnemius. So from the side toward the middle, I'll do it one more time, going all the way around, starting at the side, lateral side. Gastrocnemius, underneath that, plantaris, next muscle, peroneus group. So the peroneus group is on the side here. All of these are peroneus. Next muscle, this is on the top now, tibialis anterior. Underneath that, extensor digitorum longus, coming around the tibia, flexor digitorum longus, and then right behind that is the tibialis posterior, 
then the soleus, and the gastrocnemius. Is everybody okay? Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go over it one more time. One more time? Yes. All right. <laughs> Going this way? So looking, at, so looking at the medial side, gastrocnemius, soleus, then remember this is the tibia, so this is running all the way through. So in the back here, this is tibialis posterior, it's in the back. Then the next muscle running all the way down along the, the tibia down to the foot, flexor digitorum longus. <laughs> then comes the tibia, turning it around toward the front. On top, very superficial, tibialis anterior, the tendon is porting toward the toe. Right underneath that big long tendon going to all of the little digits, extensor digitorum longus. Right next to that, a whole bunch of tendons. This would be peroneus brevis. Peroneus brevis. Oh, wait, or do we just need another peroneus group? Yeah. Brevis, bre this one's brevis. Looks like this one's brevis, this one's tertius, and the last one's longus. But don't worry about that. This one is the plantaris. And then this one here is the gastrocnemius. Is that better? Yes. Everybody feel good about that now? Everybody going to erase all of the incorrect ones? I'm all good. You feel good about that. Yeah. I heard that no. So make sure you get there. goes that crate into the ground. Don't say that. But it does, and actually I'm really glad that I went down into the foot because that really clarified it. And if I show you a muscle, when they go to show you the muscles in the lower leg, I will show you a rabbit that has it dissected like this. Okay? So even if they use a different rabbit, I will pull out furry Fred if it's not dissected like this. So when you look at it, you can see that this is the extensor digitorum. Longus. Because you can actually see it <laughs> going all the way down to the digits. Yes, extensor digitorum longus. And you can, you can see that this is tibialis the tibialis anterior. anterior. And you can see that underneath here, that's flexor, flexor digitorum, digitorum longus, and that the one that's right behind the bone is going to be the tibialis posterior. posterior. Yeah. Okay. The soleus and then gastrocnemius. You got it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. There you are. Everybody okay? okay? So the peroneus group, we just need to know. Yeah. When the peroneus muscles, I'm just going to ask you to say peroneus group. Okay. Remember, the peroneus muscles are on the lateral side. So peroneus muscles are on the lateral side. I feel a lot better because in the cat, the extensor digitorum longus is on the lateral side. But if you take a look at the rabbit, it's on top. Do you see that? Yeah. So it's really not on the lateral side because I couldn't find it. I was looking on the lateral side and I couldn't find it until I went through and I separated this muscle and then I realized that this is the tibialis anterior and that the extensor digitorum is actually right underneath it. So it's in a different place on the cat, on the rabbit than it is on the cat. Tibialis anterior. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, furry friend.